did you marry? Who did I marry? Who, who, yeah, who did you marry and how did you meet? Ferris Bear Crack Dove. And uh, I went to a dance with two cousins, three old cousins, and we stood in the doorway. And we had heard that these fellows were coming up from the country. And I looked over and I said, uh, I'll take the tall one. <laughs> I hadn't even met him, but I said, I'll take the tall one. <laughs> and I got the tall one. And uh, she was six foot, two and a half inches tall. What year was that? Hmm? What Do you remember what year that was? Yeah, 1938. When did you get married? In September of 1938. Yeah. When did you start your family? I guess that year. <laughs> <laughs> and then you moved to Charlestown, to Chemawaki. They were the caretakers at Chemawaki Lodge. Um, Senator Green, or Governor Green, um, he and other I don't know, lawyers and judges and whatever, they had this uh, retreat. And my parents were had the little cottage, the caretaker's cottage, which was a three bedroom cottage. And then there was the, the lodge next door to it. And my parents um, did the cooking and the cleaning. Mom ironed you know, their sheets and their whatever they had, hand washed it, hung it out to dry, ironed it with sad irons. Now this we're talking about in the 19, late 1930s, 1940s, into the 50s, um, without electricity, without running water. It was our home. It was our place, just free and in the woods and um, going blueberrying, picking peaches from the peach trees, and there's pear tree, and um, it was just really quite a wonderful life as children growing up. That's um, true. Yeah. We had a giant garden, um, and father hunted. So, but. so it, it was in some ways uh, almost a, a Native American, a traditional Native American upbringing. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, in terms of the hunting and in terms of being with nature. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. That's how we lived. It was mm -hmm. um, a beautiful life. My mother was always this absolutely wonderful chef, cook, <laughs> uh, and she loved to cook and loved to cook for her family. And so they would arrive and she would have a dinner and, and then... Um, Sunday morning or Saturday morning, the men would go out fishing. I say men, but oftentimes my my father's mother would go fishing with them. They'd go out in canoes and go fishing. And they'd come back with trout and uh, pickerel. In 1954, um, my mother found this place, Dovecrest. They would continue doing catering and then eventually they made this room into a dining room. They could have a big stuffed potato or, or Johnny cakes with whatever they had. And we served, we had venison and, uh, and regular meat too, but we always had venison on them. Once, once or twice we had buffalo meat. She wanted to have a restaurant, her own restaurant. And that building, we, the neighbor, John Cunningham, who lived just down the street, was an architect, and we kind of worked out the plans, and... Um, Didn't we have a bar downstairs, too? Yes, yeah. And uh, that building. And it became quite well known. And they were written up, um, probably, uh, Senator Pell had it done, they were written up in the congressional record. Um, did, did Claiborne Pell come here? Yes. He yes, did? Yes, yes, yes. Do you remember that time as a happy time? Oh, yeah. I, I, don't, I can't think of a sad moment unless it was when my parents or somebody died. But 
most of the time I was very happy. So you've led a good life. I think so. Yeah, good children, good two great. Now I have great friends and grandchildren, and they're all just wonderful. Anything else that you want to say about your milestone birthday? I mean, most of us. About, about what? About your about reaching a hundred years. I mean, that's that's quite a thing. Yeah, it's quite a thing. I, sometimes I surprise myself and say, I'm a hundred. <laughs> but thank the Lord, I'm a hundred. I'm walking on my own. I can make mo most of my decisions myself. Some I kind of turn over to this, this daughter. But I just feel that I'm pretty lucky. I had one aunt that lived to be 104, but I don't intend to break on her on reaching 104. But if I do, well, I do. If I don't, well, I don't. <laughs> Any advice? Well, one thing is I never smoked. And, uh, I might have a glass of wine occasionally, but it has to be an occasion to have it. And otherwise, just go along with what's going on that's good. And be good to people? You know, yeah. Respect nature? Mm -hmm. I have a, quite a number of grown-ups now that I brought up as that their parents had to work or they were left alone. I always took them in. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. We're very fortunate. We had a very loving mother. And, and I often think that there's other children, other families that didn't grow up that way. You know, things were hard, and 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 we were poor. I mean, we didn't own our own home until in the 50s, but my mother was so hardworking, but she worked from love. 